So what we're going to do is we're going to take a scanner that we got from a store and we're not sure what the configuration is running but we need the configuration so we can send it across to different scanners in the store. And so what we're going to do now is take the Zebra 123 scan utility, um, download the application so you'll go to the support site and go to scanners scroll down to the 123 scan utility and down whichever version works for your computer that you're going to be using. So once it's installed, once you start it, it's going to look for some updates. Just let it take care of all that. It's just getting all the latest uh, firmware and whatnot across. So um, at this point, we're going to take our scanner. And the scanner is uh, a DS8178. And put it in the cradle. Um, and what's going to happen is whatever configuration is on the scanner in terms of the, how the host is connecting. So the USB, this is a USB connection. If you are using such thing as, say, like a, for OPAS or JPAS, um, this utility is actually going to change it so it can talk to the scanner. So we can see that it is talking to the scanner, usually in snappy mode when it's talking here. But once you have your configuration, you can just take configuration, and I'll show you how to do that. And, um, change it to the host mode that you need. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say clone modified my connected scanner. And we saw from the data view that the scanner was connected. Uh, only issue may be is like if you have a scanner that's so old or firmware that's so old, it's going to do its best to get all the configurations. Um, but in some cases when they're so old, it might not be able to connect. So um, it does need to be of a certain um, you know, within the last probably six to ten years, six to eight years. So we see it grabbed all the configurations off there. There was a configuration file that was used in the past called this ISS45. We see the, the cable connections here. Um, but now that we have this, we can unplug our scanner. And we can see what configuration changes are in there. So. Um, you see it actually made it snappy, so what we'll do is we don't need... So in the end, here's our configuration. We don't need these two um, for now, uh, for this case. And then let's say we're doing OPAS. So this is an 8178, so we're going to do uh, IBM handheld. So that'll do OPAS and JPAS. Um, and from this point, uh, we can see there's some data being modified. There's some, some rules that are here. Um, we see that in the Bluetooth, there's some power options that have changed, um, and then some of the generals. You're always going to see the changes to the default with this uh, up arrow here. And with the up arrow, you can see, you can scroll down and see where the change was made, hands-free mode and whatnot. Um, so once you have your configuration, once you've made uh, the changes to your host, you can test this by basically you can, if you wanted to reconnect the scanner, you can load it to scanner. Um, first, you probably want to save this file to your PC. Save. It'll save in a default location. And from there, um, you could do a few things. So to get it there, you load it to the scanner through over USB. You can press this print a barcode. And this is a single barcode with all your settings. And if you wanted to change it, you can uh, do it as a PDF 417. So, and then you could save this document or print it. Um, it can save as an MS Word document. Um, or if you have some advanced, uh, you can use the, um, you can plug it in to be able to use our scanner management software on your PC, POS PCs to send the configuration that way or just have it held there as well. So, so there you go. So we cloned it. We got the information off and then you're able to print a barcode. Um, you know, there's other nice options too. You can email it to a phone so they can scan off there. You just have to make sure that uh, mobile phone display mode is enabled. So thank you.